Hey, what's up, guys? Adam with AJ Automotive Repair and Fleet Service in Sacramento. We got a 2000 Chevy 3500. It's a flatbed truck. He's having troubles getting it out of park. It's been doing it for quite some time now. Uh, we already got the parts ordered. We already know what it is, but I'm gonna go over it with you real quick, and then you guys can kind of see what the problem is. So on these trucks, there's this part right here. It's under the shift column. It's a little lever. When you hit the brake, it sends a signal to this actuator, and then the lever moves to unlock the shifter. You're gonna find it underneath the dash. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this lower cover off, and then once I get the lower cover off, then I'll get back to you and show you what we need to do to get it out. All right, you guys, we got the lower covers off. I'm gonna show you what we had to take out. So there's the plastic shroud. All right, it's got three bolts holding it in. This is where the little vent tube goes to have the vents over there by your feet area. There's this big bracket right here, metal bracket. There's three 10 millimeter bolts, actually four 10 millimeter bolts that hold that in. And then there's one more bracket underneath the console or the steering column area. There's two bolts that hold that in, take those off. There is emergency brake handle. Those little square holes on each side of that. Use a flathead screwdriver and you push the tangs in and that'll release this handle. And then also if you look at the truck, here's the emergency brake cable right here. This slips into a hole and then you have to turn it to lock it into place, vice versa. If you wanna unlock it, you turn it and then it unlocks and then you can pull it out the back. These are the little tabs I was talking about right here. You just push in on those and that handle will come off. Here's the vent that goes to that center piece. You can kind of just push that out of the way. And then if you look up here in this area, you're gonna see the shift cable. That's the cable that goes all the way out to the transmission. Right next to that is this metal rod right there going to the actuator. If you follow that up to the top, there's a little joint here. You use a flathead screwdriver, pop that joint off, get the actuator out and unplugged, and then reinstall the new one. I'm gonna get this out, and I'll try and get a good picture and show you what it looks like when it's not installed in the truck. All right, you guys. Now that we're under here, you'll look up here. There's that little nodule right there. That's a small joint that the solenoid side actually clips onto. And then if you follow it up, here's the other end. Use a flathead screwdriver, pop it off this joint. Use a flathead screwdriver, pop it off that joint. And then this is the actuator. There's the joint hole that goes to the backside. And then this is the joint hole right there that goes to the top side all right the way this works is if you look at the shifter we'll turn the key on real quick the shifter lever moves okay you see that You'll notice that this upper joint moves with the shift rod or shift cable. That connects to this end, like I showed you earlier. This actuator rod moves in and out, all right? Inside the solenoid. The solenoid locks it up right here. All right, and that keeps it from moving out of park. I know this hasn't been replaced because if I look back here, there's pink tape on it, or not tape, but pink paint. They'll mark that at the factory and that lets you know that this is original. So we'll go ahead and replace this, reinstall everything, check it, make sure everything's good. And we should have another happy customer. Let me get it together and we'll go ahead and test everything.
All right, you guys, we got everything back together. Before I put the lower console and all the covers back on, I wanna test everything, make sure it works properly. So obviously, put the key in, turn the ignition on. All right, press the brake. Everything works, let go of the brake, it's locked. Press the brake, everything works. Let go of the brake, it's locked, etc. All right, quick fix, easy work. Another happy customer. Hey, if you guys like these videos, please like and subscribe. Don't forget the notifications button, and we will see you on the next one. All right.